Shir and Rav Chaim Uzaga, the Holy Ramchal. Ramchal gave us the Surim, the Messiah Sishurim, the path of the just, and he gave us many books, Der Hashem, and another book, which is a dialogue between Hashem and and I believe a person's Hashama. He's given us so many books and books on Kabbalah. But what makes the Ramchal great is his ability to, and his grasp of the entire wisdom of the Torah. That not only did he understand the more practical things, if you read the Path of the Just, he tells a person how to come close to Hashem through Musar, through character correction. But the rabbis tell us that this book, the Path of the Just, this is the book, this is the entrance way to the Kabbalah. From Musar, he was teaching Kabbalah. And from Kabbalah, he teaches Musar. You read the, the books on the, on the Kabbalah, and he's talking about how a person can, has to feel HaKadosh Baruch Hu and feel the light that we came into this world in order to feel the light of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the light of Anashama. And he teaches you how to do this. He teaches you so many broad things. How could one Sadiq have such a grasp of, of such things as the Midos and the Kabbalah and every savior he has is, is, is it's almost as if it's a totally different world and, and, he, and he's putting them all in separate little pieces and then when you learn them all you, you're whole Rav Chaim Zago, so beautiful of a Neshama so beautiful of a Tzadik there are many people who are very strong by the Ramchal they, they, they hold him as if like he was the Tzadik Emes, he was the, the, the sage who was connected to the highest form of truth and they don't say that about a lot of people, but they say that about Rafael Muzato. A great, great man. <laughs> was born in Italy and it was there that he became a great scholar but at such a young age that people started questioning him as his realness as his trueness and he had said to a few people that he was taught the Torah by a magid by a special angel created from the, the devotion to the learning that he had done and people didn't believe him and they didn't want him to teach the Kabbalah, they didn't want him to teach the, the ideas that he knew. And so the rabbis in Italy, they banned him. And then he went to Germany, to Amsterdam. And what happened? He asked, he asked them, please protect me so I can teach the Torah. I have beautiful things to teach, sweetness for the future generations. And again, they didn't let him teach the Torah. They didn't let him teach the sweetness. And he started writing things down that he had learned from the Magid. And it was burnt. We don't have so many things from the Ramchal. We have the Sears Hashem. We have some beautiful books, but we don't have it all. We don't have all the Sfarim from the Ramchal. Why? Because people were jealous. People were jealous. He was a man pursuing the truth, pursuing MS. And they saw it here at the same time with Shabbat Shabbat Svi. And they thought, oh, so this person's going off the, on the wrong path. So surely he is. Because sometimes truth and falsehood, they look the same because they're parallel sometimes, even though they're the opposite direction, they, 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 they look somewhat similar. But they're not. A person with a true eye can see different. But sometimes even the biggest of rabbis, they mistaken someone who is pure, someone who is, who is sincere for falsehood. Why? Because maybe in that tzaddik is missing a slight bit of truth. And so, the, how many sperm had, had to over the centuries, over the generations, how many sperm, how many great books and teachings have never, have departed, have never gone anywhere because the sages, they didn't, maybe they were a little, maybe inside they didn't know it, but maybe they were a little jealous of this one rabbi and they didn't let him pursue his, the truth.
or maybe they, they meant it sincerely. They, they, they were trying to protect the community, that the community wasn't ready for these teachings. They thought it was too high. They thought it was wrong. People were so against Rabbi Nachman of Bresa, they were against the Baal Shem Tov. But it was the Vilna Gon, and it was the Magid of Mezrus, who loved the Svarim of the Ramchal. And they, they taught it, they, 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 they pushed it upon their students. And they, they, they loved it. And today, all through the yeshivas of the world, no matter where you go, they're learning the Svarim of the Ramchal. But we have a lesson to learn here about supporting and, and trying to, to find truth. And we shouldn't be so judgmental. If someone is, if there's a book out, we should be more open-minded to, to other sperm, to other Hasidists, to other, to Litvish sperm, to Litvish people, to, to Hasidic sperm. We should be more open-minded to trying to find the truth, because if we try to search more for the truth, we will find the truth. And we won't throw away, we won't toss away holy books like the Ramchals. Sasso in the sea, 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 the sea